Welcome in everybody. This is Paper Cuts, episode 11, my special birthday edition. This is going to be the point in our episode where I'm not going to read too much in chat. I'm going to be depending very heavily on my mods. So Mel, Poco, Pink was in here, uh, Mass especially, you guys got this. If you have... Um, if you have any specific questions or points you would like to make, either at one of the mods or highlight your message, and they will make sure that I read and address it. So, this week, our creative prompt was freestyle. Uh, a lot of people like doing freestyle uh, for their ability to be boundless in their expressions. But a lot of people also like to have uh, specific prompts because it allows them to focus their energies on one specific purpose. So it's always it's always a mix and match whether I get more people for freestyle or I get more people for an actual prompt. But I appreciate every entry no matter what. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. Today we are going to start off with uh, a brand new uh, participant, Freelance7. Freelance7, I hope you're in here. If not, I hope you catch the VOD later or on YouTube. Can I get a YouTube in chat, please? Every single reaction will be a raw reaction. I have not read anything. I have not seen anything. You guys are amazing. You just are. So. Um, I did have one of my mods go over every single submission that I had. That I had, and I, uh, made sure that there were no trigger warnings that needed to be addressed. With Freelance's submission, there is a mild violence trigger warning, and we're about to get into, uh, an excerpt of Freelance's work. So, Submission by Freelance 7. A solemn gray blanketed the canvas of the land. One would find it rational to blame the clouds and their overbearing nature. Due to that nature, the brown dirt, the green grass, the pink leaves, all of it a shade of gray. The village nearest this patch of nature suffered from its depressing wrath even forcing it to go through a bit of wrath itself. The village square was gray. What was, uh, what was usually the spawning ground for myriad social activities has become barren with its center. Where the villagers would mill about, surrounding the center the villagers stood, looking upon it like deer watching a gory spectacle of one of their own in horror. Only the slaughter has yet only the slaughter has yet to begin. In the corner, nearest the village's entrance, stood a malignant figure, a man, a bandit, his front cloaked in the shadow of his damaged casa. While whatever light left had shone upon the scratched red paint on his doe's backplate. Paint, or perhaps blood. There was a rather sinister odor about him, like he was covered in the viscera of those he cut down. The man threw his hands up in the air, an exaggerated showing. Well, his shrill voice echoed among the wooden buildings, almost giving a flinch to those around him. Where is he? First silence. No one wanted to say a thing fearing the incursion of his wrath. However, slight movement inside the slice, sliced slit of his casa caught the bandit's eye. The door of the chief's house at the end of the village slid open. From the shadow of the doorway, an elderly couple emerged, hands held to their fronts. They performed a brief bow before stepping aside. Then another figure exited the house, a man, not old, but not young, his hair tied back and his beard unkempt, but not graying. He dressed in faded, dirtied rags, 
fluttering in the slight wind. By his hip, held in the tight grasp of his obi belt, was a katana, its handle wrapped in a tusca, protruding from the sheath proudly. It was the only clean object on his person. His eyes upon this unimpressive display, the bandit grinned widely into a toothy smile, showing his missing teeth as he bellowed. His laughter was obnoxious, a raucous noise that brought displeasure to the ear. Oh, this is rich. The stranger didn't respond. His grin slipping down, the bandit shrugged and reached behind his back, producing from it a kurosagi curis gamma, a sickle connected to a long chain. The stranger wrinkled his nose and turned his head slightly, like he was addressing some invisible figure. Be quiet. Everyone in the village square was confused by the stranger's odd actions. The bandit himself tilted his head, but thought nothing more of it as he began to spin his blade rustling of the chain being the only sound that could be heard in the silent square. Turning his head back, the stranger bent his knees and gripped the sheath of his weapon. Slowly, he reached up and wrapped his callous fingers around the handle tightly, closing his eyes. He took a deep breath in through his nose. The bandit, sensing this was a start, smiled deviously as he pulled his arm back and threw his sickle out. It reached a considerable distance before he took the chain again and twisted his body. The sickle went far, a wide arc it traveled, nearly harming several villagers on its own journey towards the stranger's head, who had barely a move since this began. Ching! The sound of steel sliding out of its scabbard was heard for nary a moment. Suddenly, the chain had been sliced clean. The sickle, now in free flight, only made it a yard before it sparked red flames and sizzled into ash its remains falling to the floor harmlessly. Everyone, even the bandits, stood in bewilderment as to what had happened. However, there was no time, for as the bandit looked to his opponent, he found the stranger quickly moving in, dashing quickly with his eyes closed once more. His katana was now held firmly in both hands, ready to slash. The bandit held what was left of the chain in front of him to block. And as he closed in, the bandit could have sworn he saw red flames spout from the stranger's nostrils. Ching! A single slash of the steel chain. Though hardened leather and iron through flesh and clean swipe separated the upper half of the bandit's body from the lower half. For but a few seconds, he was airborne, facing the gray sky before... He burned a great red and dissolved into ash. No blood was shed nor left, just specks. The stranger didn't stop after the slash, though slowing to a walk, his legs kept him moving as he slid the black blade, uh, the blade back into its home and exited the village, caring not for fanfare. No words, the stranger muttered. As you wish, is what only he heard in return. Well, all right then. Freelance, that was... I don't know what your, uh, your writing experience is. Like, um, I've, I've said this before, we've had so many different people come in with various backgrounds in writing. Me personally, I, um, I used to be an editor at a creative writing magazine, which is one of the reasons that I felt really comfortable and really happy to do paper cuts. And you have some really great potential here. I'm, um, I know that this is only a small excerpt, so I really want to see where this came from, like what you have before it, uh, where this fits in in the story. You're very detailed. Uh, you can capture what this is so hard for me. I really have, 
there is a reason that I like to preview these before I um I do any sort of review live on stream because I like to have notes and it becomes a little more succinct and it makes a lot more sense when I'm prepared, but it was voted that I should do raw reactions. That being said, I really enjoyed this. This was great. I am sorry that I stumbled through some of these words. I'm not very familiar with the uh, pronunciation of Japanese nouns. I'm gonna say nouns. I'm gonna go with nouns because that's it. Don't worry, I'm a queen. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. But freelance, I, I really enjoyed this. I did. I think that you have a lot of promise. And I wonder if this is part of a, a larger work. I know that you said that you had to condense some of it down and uh, make it so it would fit in with the uh, the length requirements for paper cuts. So maybe you and I can go over your larger work so you don't have to uh, change your writing style. Because I know that you did say that you had to change the way you write uh, in order to have it fit and make sense, which I'm glad that you altered it so it would fit. But at the same time, I want to see more of what you have to um, what you have to offer. Um, so yes, I, I'm very excited for what else you have. I hope that you continue to submit to paper cuts. And I really hope that you'll you use the time to basically get to experience a creative prompt because we don't just do writing here. We do every medium of creative expression. We do drawing, we do cinematography, we do uh, photography, we do, oh my goodness. We do so many different things. We actually had someone weave something for uh, for a paper cut edition, and it was beautiful and it was wonderful. Uh, but again, Freelance, thank you so much for your contribution and your submission. I hope that this was a positive experience for you, whether you're seeing this now or whether you catch the VOD later. I appreciate you taking the time to contribute to Paper Cuts this week. Okay, so that was our first submission. Next up, and again, I want to stress, I did not review any of these. So we're going to do, hold on, let me make sure I pause it. I don't wanna mess it up. We're going to do the submission by Eternal Totem. Uh, Totem has again done a video for us. I don't know what it's about. I'm super excited. It could literally be about anything. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to turn up my sound so I can hear it better. Okay. Yeah. And let's go over to the exhibition screen. And Eternal Totem, thank you so much for your submission. And here we go. I pray to the spirits of the North, the Earth Mother, to Great Bear, to be with us in our sacred rite. I pray to the spirits of the East, the Sky Father, the Great Eagle, to be with us in our sacred rite. I pray to the spirits of the South, the Fire Brother, the Great Dragon, to be with us in our sacred rite. I pray to the spirits of the West, the Rain Sister, the Great Well, to be with us in our sacred rite. We call to the spirits of place, to those of land, sea, and sky, to those of three worlds to be with us in our sacred right. Oh man, this here's rather special. 
<laughs> there's new life. I'm looking at her, holding her. Ah, it clearly has changed me, man. <laughs> I feel like a pup. Always wanted her to look at me. To so know she is safe in my care. Oh my god. Those be things that change a person. I know. I've, I've never been happier in my life. The other day, she just spent hours with me. All we did, we were just chasing fireflies. Sounds like an excuse for you to want a kid. Bet you even be changing to that barefoot blues so she can pull that fur of yours. I have no idea what you're talking about. I will not deny or admit what you're saying. <laughs> Do it. So it be you It'd be changing to that bear you held up while she slept against you. Hey, she loves that one. Hmm. I know. Remember you having me take you for the walks. Nervous you were, shifting between forms. You said you were not going to be bringing that up again. Did I now? Must have slipped my mind. You know me at my age. Forget things. Don't age like you druid folk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that may be a little bit too convenient. She has a new word she heard from Uncle Trevor. You want to know what it is? Ain't. Can't postulate the idea that you're trying to allude to. Mm -hmm. So the other day, she told the sheep who knocked her down, Fuck you. Wonder where she got that from. Sounds like a strong word for me. <laughs> Guess we be having lamb chops tonight. Oh, God damn. Gosh, Trevor, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Fuck you too, asshole. Uh, Trevor, <laughs> you're like a brother. You're you're family to me. Um, listen. If anything was to, you know, no, 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 none of that talk. All right. You're healthy. You're protected by the grove. Even if it did. Wish it ain't. Her in particular. I blame you for this. It's all your fault. Before meeting you, I never knew this could this could be this way. I was supposed to live in seclusion. I was supposed to be alone, protecting this grove. Then I met her in one of your silly adventures. And as much as I don't like to admit it to your face, you asshole. At that moment, I knew that the great spirits have brought us together. Welcome, Phelan. Now, last I recall, you owe me a drink. Yeah, yeah. All right, fine. I'll get the elder wine. Ah, I spoil you way too much. Not to change subjects, but, uh... I think it's about time we talk about training her. If you catch my drift. What? Oh, God fucking God. Totem. Totem. Holy crap. Why? Like... You want big face? Okay, I'll give you big face. Totem, holy shit. Every time, every time, I don't even, I don't even know what to expect from you at, at any moment. When it comes to these submissions, you always blow me away. That was amazing and beautiful. I, I loved this marriage of music and the video it was beautiful and wonderful and at the very same time your dialogue 
was this was just spectacular i've got like zero other words to use there there's nothing else in my brain right now because holy crap that was beautiful i i did i did totem i did want a continuation of the entry from last time this was amazing and beautiful and i don't I don't think I could have expected that. Um, I loved this video. Like, I don't know where it is that you go to get and capture uh, these videos, but holy shit, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous scenery, and I really, really enjoyed your your story. Oh my gosh! Holy crap, Totem, what what do I do with you, huh? What do I do with you? I'm just, like, blown away every time the nature sound was what I was actually hearing. Oh my gosh, was it really? Were those the authentic sounds in the, in the video that you were taking? Also, like, how much extra footage did you have to do to, like, stitch all that together? Or did you, like, know how much you needed for, um, for the dialogue pieces? What what came first? Was that like, hey, I'm gonna go shoot this imagery? Or did you write the script first? Two days of takes, holy crap. Holy crap. Yes, Totem is a genius confirmed. Maybe I ah! I switched over to the next one. I was not ready, I was not ready. Shh. Nobody, nobody mentioned that I, I switched over and it started. <laughs> Dragon. Okay, well, in case you guys didn't know, Dragon's next. Um, but Totem, yes, that was my raw reaction. I wish, like, you guys didn't like raw reactions as much as you do, because I would be able to give you, like, more thoughts that I have when, I was, when I'm able to process them. But, you guys want raw reactions, here I am. Here I am. Oh, goodness. But, Totem, thank you again for that beautiful and wonderful submission. Myers, how are you? Happy Throwback Thursday. It's my birthday Thursday, Myers, and we are in the middle of paper cuts. So we have covered two submissions. We are about to get on to our third. We have five in total. So I hope that you guys enjoy this uh, as much as I do. So without further ado, in case you didn't know, our one and only Dragonolia is next, and she has created a video for us. I have not seen it, I have not heard it, I have done nothing, but right now I'm watching a still image of her, and you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. So, without further ado, Dragon Submission. I'm gonna, like, have you guys start titling these things. I just keep saying Submission by. Anyway, so... Without further ado, Dragon, I'm going to mute myself and we're going to watch you. Maybe I'm not pretty, maybe I'm just fun. Cause I've got a belly and I've got a bun. And I'm always jelly and all the other ones. The itty bitty bellies and the rum 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 rums. I know that I should love myself, but it's getting kind of hard when you're constantly feeling like garbage. No, I shouldn't hurt myself, but I can't find a way to lose weight without literally starving. And the other song says I'm beautiful, but what else I don't feel like I'm beautiful? I wish my body image didn't say. That I should be another kind of way Maybe I'm not pretty, maybe I'm just fun Cause I've got a belly and I've got a bum I can't be jelly, all the other ones I'm falling in love with my rum 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 rums I'm not gonna ask for help Cause all you're gonna say is you're perfect And oh you're so worth it Sometimes I hate myself I get inside my head and I think I somehow deserve this Every other song says I'm beautiful oh, What if I don't feel like I'm beautiful? I wish my body image didn't say That I should be another kind of way Maybe I'm not pretty, maybe I'm just 
fun Cause I've got a belly and I've got a bum But I can't be jelly All the other ones I'm falling in love with my rum 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 Maybe I'm not pretty, maybe I'm just fun Cause I've got a belly and I've got a bum But I can't be jelly of all the other ones I'm falling in love with my rum 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 I'm falling in love with my rum 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 Dragon Oh my god I didn't I I didn't know if I was going to smile because I loved watching you and your body language and how like your voice was telling the story but then like listening to the lyrics my heart was breaking like i i am like i am an amalgamation of conflicting feelings right now because one i loved watching you and you look like you're having so much fun you look like you're enjoying yourself one Thing I really have to point out, I, I'm assuming that this is a song that other people have heard before. I've never heard this song before. Um, but, oh, what the f Dragon. You looked like you were having such a good time. You sounded wonderful. And I loved your, your body language. I loved how you let the story come out in, in your body. But damn those lyrics just like I didn't know how to feel because like I was I was over here dancing and then like I was listening to the lyrics and I felt like crying and I'm just like what the fuck? How do I even feel right now? I don't even know how I feel right now. Because like I I'm, I'm still looking at your your face right now. I'm still looking at you. And like, just this image of you brings joy to my heart. And that song like broke me. Holy crap. Oh, holy crap. <sighs> Thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. That was a lovely birthday present, just so you know. Holy crap. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, yeah, you, you're over here messing with my heart, dragon. Oh my goodness, I see a Miss Ambi. Miss Ambi, thank you for joining us for paper cuts. Tracer is gonna go ahead and gift 10 subs in the middle of paper cuts. You know that is against the rules, but you know what? I have a wonderful editor, and he's probably gonna edit this out. <laughs> Dragon, oh my god. Holy crap. Um, Amrix11, thank you so much for stopping in. Welcome in, welcome in. Grab a book, settle in. I'm the pervy nerdy librarian, and we are doing Paper Cuts Thursday. It is also my birthday, and this week's creative prompt was a freestyle. Our wonderful, beautiful Dragonalia just regaled us with a TikTok artist made famous, and I covered it. All right, all right. You did a cover of a TikTok artist. That's so cool. I literally never heard the song before, so. Um, I also don't have TikTok because Boomer. That's me. Uh, Tracer, thank you for stopping in and dropping 10 gifted subs on us. We love it. You'll love to see it. Ambi, thank you for the birthday wishes. Uh, you were stuck between two? What was the other one? Was it another TikTok song that I would never have heard of? Uh, I'm old, guys. I'm old. Let me tell you. Thank you for the birthday wishes, Zingy. 
Didn't mean... All right. All right. Thank you, Dragon. I will definitely check that out. I heard the other one. That's what... It's good. Okay. Okay. Well, I... I leveled up today, guys. I leveled up. Oh. Is... Are they done? Are they done? Okay. I think they're done. Sweet. Sweet. So we can... Uh, one, I, w I wanted to reiterate, Dragon, that was amazing. Thank you so, so much. I could not ask for better, for better birthday gifts than things that you guys make for me yourselves. Ambi, thank you for the bits. I will get to the bit dance at the end of Paper Cuts, I promise. Oh. Uh, are you like, this? We're, we are like the same age, wave. No, Dragon, uh, you aren't even 30 yet, so I'm older than you. Uh-uh. Tracer, can you, like, not while I'm doing paper cuts? All right, guys. So, again, thank you, Dragon. We are going to go on to our next submission. Where is exclamation point arty cunt, please? I need exclamation point arty cunt. Because guess what's next? We got Senor Daft Bag, aka Senior Daft Bag, aka it's Gage. It's Gage has done a comic strip for us. Well, it's more than a strip. It's a couple of pages of a comic strip. Holy fuck! There's no dialogue in here, and I, I'm pretty sure it's because he's still not finished with it. But in in order to get it here, he had to just give me what he had. <laughs> so this is a Pokemon comic that Senior Daft Bag has been working on, and holy shit. Like, holy sheep shit. One, Gage, is that my favorite Pokemon right there? Is that, is that my favorite Pokemon on this kid's shoulder? You guys know I'm an EV trainer, right? Hold on. You guys know I'm an EV trainer, right? My best girlfriend made this for me. I'm an EV trainer. Uh, no, nah, it's my favorite Pokemon. I'm also, uh, yes, I do have an Umbreon onesie. It's true. I do. And look at this Mewtwo. Look at this fucking Mewtwo. I don't know what this other Pokemon is. Somebody's gonna have to tell me what this Pokemon is. Uh, that's beside this trainer. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go to the next page where you have Attack. And look, look at this, look at this face that Mewtwo is making. I don't think you guys can see my cursor, which annoys me, but whatever. Look. 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 Gage, you can't have the same favorite Pokemon as me. I'm an EV trainer, that's it. I'm the only one. Gage, have I told you how talented you are? Because if I haven't, um, everyone... If you've seen my channel when I'm offline, all of that stuff, uh, all of the banners and things, Gage made. Uh, you ever see my Twitter? Gage made my banner. Uh, you ever see my YouTube? Gage made that too. So, God. Gage, have I told you how talented you are? Have I told you? Look at this. That's kind of gross. There's some spit. There's some spit. And that look. That look of like, I done fucked up A.A. Ron on this Pokemon's face. I have no idea what Pokemon this is. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm dying. I am old, okay? Back in the day, there were only 150 Pokemon. And now there are more. And I'm okay with it because I get Umbreon and Esp Espeon now. So I'm good with that. Holy shit. Like, Gage, I want to do, like, a monthly, like, thing. And you gotta, you gotta come up with comics to, to fill it. I'm just saying. <laughs> so talented. It's Weevil, or Weevile. Is that Weevile? I'm gonna say that. Hey, the song is... Or more. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, back in my day, it was 150, and I had them all memorized. Holy shit, I love this eye. 
And this first panel here, this eye is amazing. Is, uh, is your Weavile taking, it's Weevil? Weevil? Weevil. <laughs> is, uh, is your Weevil, uh, taking drugs? Is that what's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. Look, guys, I'm, I'm Boomer. I'm Boomer, I stay Boomer. I should watch more Pokemon, apparently. I like these dark panels a lot. Like, look at these dark panels. This is some legit shit, Gage. This is legit. Like, I don't... Holy shit. I do want to know, why are some of these uh, items colorized? Like, what was, uh, steroids for Pokemon are okay? <laughs> like, evil? With the- so it's Weevil? Okay, got it. Got it. But yes, um, Gage, what- why are some of these items colorized? Are you going to go in and colorize, or is there something specific about these items that are being colorized? Just a question. Just thoughts. Thoughts. Thoughts I have. And again, this is raw reactions, guys. I've not seen this. Uh, and this is super fucking cool. Is all I got. That's all I got, Gage. This is amazing. You are killing me with how talented you are. So I have stock images for pictures I need. And they are colored. To oh, okay, okay, okay. Get it. Get it. I get it. I see. And is that the end of that particular thing? Because I have no more panels, obviously. You only sent me five pages. No more panels. Um, is this the end of this epic fight, or are we Dragon Ball z -ing? Next time on Dragon Ball Z. I mean, how long does it take to charge up? Is it so far? Nice. Nice. I hope that you continue to submit pages for uh, Paper Cuts because amazing. Amazing. Guys, if you are not checking out uh, Gage and his work and how fucking hilarious he is. I had so much fun playing with Gage last night. We played some Sea of Thieves, just memeing. Fucking memeing. It was great. But yes. Gage, you are wildly talented, and I'm so jealous. I've never been able to draw anything. Never not once. Never. Never, never. Never, ever. Never have I been able to draw. I appreciate you in all of your efforts and works. Guys, seriously, check out Gage. He is amazing and wonderful. I got nothing else to say. I had, I had questions. I had reactions. Gage, you are a Fucking amazing. A fucking amazing. Holy sheep shit. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, um, now that senior daft bags know you since his submission is done with, and I appreciate every. I'm. I wonder, Gage, would you consider doing like a film strip, comic strip? Next time, uh, whenever you have dialogue to put in there, like doing voiceovers and stuff like that, I think that'd be really cool. I think that'd be really cool. RDS, thank you so much for redeeming water. I don't have any water on my desk. I do have Powerade. So cheers to you. Gage, I think that'd be really cool. I'd really want to see that. Mostly so I don't have to talk. <laughs> I I hate the sound of my voice, guys. I really hate my voice. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so our last submission, but never ever ever has he been leased in any of our paper cuts, comes to us from the one, the only, the incomparable. Mel the Music Man. Can I get a shout out for Mel the Music Man? Senor Daftbag or Massey? Massey, please. I would appreciate it so, so much. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Thank you, Mass. All right, so you guys are gonna have to like look at my face while I read Mel's, I'm gonna assume poem or prose piece, whichever. I have not read it over yet, so if I stumble and fall, oops, I'm sorry, Mel. And uh, let's see what happens. This piece is entitled Mother's Love, and again, this is submission by Mel the Music Man. Ever a compliment upon her lips, confidence shown in the sway of her hips. She walked to her goal with unending strength. She wanted to help and would go to any length. Honest, even when her pride would be wounded, she stood as bastion of love in a stormy sea of humanity. I do my best to honor her, though her body may be dead. Her spirit lives on in me. When I don't know what to do, I think. What would my mom have done, said, or thought? Then I do as she would have. The answer is love. Always. Love. Practice what you preach, examples teach. Mandate kindness, propagate peacefulness. Generate compassion, love the lesson. A doctrine, a wisely chosen action. Choose with your heart, empathy is art. Bring beauty to all. Without and within, mind, heart, body, soul, spirit, earth, and kin. Thank you, Mother, for showing me the way to give. I hope that I may honor you every single day I live. Mel, that is so fucking beautiful. I'm so sorry that, like, profanity <laughs> came out of my mouth. Um, holy. Mel. That was absolutely breathtaking, as Dragon is illustrating for us as well. I just... Mel, I have no words right now. Uh, I'm certain after a couple of more um, read-throughs of that and some time to digest. I will have more words. I do not have the best words right now. All I have are dams holding back tears of how beautiful that was and I cannot even begin to tell you how that makes me feel because as a mother, if my child were to think so highly of me, <laughs> thank you, Mel. Thank you for sharing that with us. I can't, I can't brain right now. I, <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry. Well, I, I wish I, um, I wish I could think better on my feet right now because that that piece was really 
that piece is really worth so much more than I am capable of expressing at this moment in time. And um, I hope that you consider submitting that piece to something more than me because I think that that's definitely something that needs to be shared with the world. I think everything you guys do needs to be shared with the world, don't get me wrong, but right now I want to focus on you, Mel, because, because Dragon thinks that this is a victory and I have to agree that that piece is a triumph. That piece is an absolute triumph. And yeah, I think uh I think you should really consider finding um some sort of publication to work with and and I think that that needs to be shared. So thank you to everybody that has um that has come in to share paper cuts with us today. Um, that's all of our submissions for the day. And uh, I have not finished the creative prompt for next week, or not next week, but the week after. Um, but I will definitely get it to you guys before the week, excuse me, before the weekend. So be on the lookout for that. Totem, Mel, you guys are in charge of making sure that I follow through and get uh, a good prompt out uh, expeditiously. Uh, thank you guys for showing, sharing my birthday. Um, I will be doing some more gameplay after a brief break, but I do like to close up our paper cuts. If there's anything else that you guys want to discuss after uh, the episode finishes, I'm going to be here to answer any questions or talk about anything that you guys want to talk about more in depth. So I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see what else you guys have to offer. So thank you guys for joining us for Paper Cuts Episode 11, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>